Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we'll be doing something really fun. This right here is the pi's derivative of x to the pi's power. Whoa! And now you might be wondering, what in the world is the pi's derivative, right? Oh well, let me tell you guys that if you want to learn more about this, you guys can go ahead and check out Mr. Dutton's plans video on half derivative, fractional derivative, fractional calculus in general. And I would also like to tell you, I got this question from Daily Math from Instagram. And this is actually from his newest book. So go ahead and check that out. I will have all the links that you need in the description for your convenience. All right, notice that we have pi, pi, and pi right there, right? In fact, this right here is going to give us a very nice answer. Let me show you. And to do that, let's go ahead and make an observation first. So let's look at some easier cases. Suppose we have d dx, and let's say we just have 1 and 1, and the input is x to the 1, like this. That means you do the first derivative of x to the first power, and of course we just get 1. That's it. Now, let's see, if we have d2, dx2, and we have x squared, this one right here, we just do it twice, right? Differentiate x squared twice, we get 2. And let me write the 2 as 2 times 1, like this. And let's do it again d3 and dx3 and x to the third power. For this one, we will just have to differentiate this 3 times, and you will see that you end up with 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6, but I will still put it as 3 times 2 times 1, right? Because you see, this right here actually gives you a very nice pattern, namely 3 factorial. If you want to do the fourth situation, you will just end up with 4 factorial and so on, right? Good. So, in general, we can say dn dxn, meaning you do the derivative n times, and the function is x to the nth power like this. In general, we'll just get n factorial, just like that. Very nice. And let me remind you guys the usual definition for n factorial. We know that n factorial is equal to, you start with n, and you multiply by the next number, which is n minus 1, like this. And then the next number, and so on, so on, so on, and then you finish as 3 times 2 times 1. That's it, right? However, this definition only works if you are talking about a positive whole number n. Hmm. Let's see. If you are allowed to use this formula for this, you see this is just pi, pi, and pi. Can we just put a pi right here and we can say the answer right here is just pi factorial then, right? If you're allowed to do that, but that's kind of like contradicting with this. However, in the past, I did have a video for you guys that I show how we can extend the concept of the n factorial by using the gamma function, right? So this right here, in fact, still makes sense. So let me actually leave the answer like this, namely pi factorial. Nothing wrong with this. It just sounds pretty crazy, right? All right, now, let me show you guys what uh, Daily Math has in his book. He come up with a general formula for you guys, and I'll show you guys what the formula is. So I'll go back to my black pen, red pen. So here is the question. Instead, let's go ahead and find out dn, dxn, and we want x to the eighth power, like this. And of course, there might be some of the numbers that we can now use but we are allowed to have like fractions and pi for the n this time. All right, so now let's see how we can come with the formula for this. Of course, I will still show you guys the pattern, so. Well, let's see, earlier when we had three, this right here stops at two. So, similar reason, I will start with a, and then go ahead and do a minus 1, and then multiply by a minus 2, and then dot dot dot. But I'm going to stop at a minus 1 less than whatever this number is. This right here, we have n. So right here, I will stop at n minus 1. And I'll put a parenthesis right here. Again, we stopped at 2 because earlier we had 3. So that's pretty much what we have. And then you'll see that this right here is x to the a minus 3 power. Here we have n. This 3 match with that, so write it as x to the a minus n, like that. And you might be wondering, why did I leave a gap? Because, again, you see, this is almost like a factorial, right? I will complete the factorial for you guys. How can we do that? Well, I'm just going to multiply by 
a minus n because that's the next number. And in the meantime, I will also have to divide it by a minus n. So I wouldn't change anything, right? And then next one, I will just do a minus parentheses n plus 1 because that's the next term. And then so on, so on, so on. So I will just pretty much keep going. 3, 2, 1, like this. So I will start with this. And then again, the next one is a minus n plus 1. And then dot, dot, dot. And then 3, 2, 1. All right. Now, on the top, we can legitimately write this as a factorial. And then on the bottom, we can write this as a minus n, and we factorial that. Good. And then, right here, we have x to the a minus n's power, like this. Very nice. But now, <sighs> this looks like worse than that, right? Don't worry, here's the secret weapon that we have. Namely, as I mentioned earlier, the gamma function. Sometimes you can also use the pi function. In fact, they're just kind of off by one. I don't know why, though. Gamma function is more popular, more famous sometimes. I don't know. But anyway, here is the deal. I will write down the gamma function right here for you guys. Recall, gamma function, gamma of an x right here, right? And there are some restrictions for the x. You guys can check out my previous video, which I made like about a year or two ago, so just go ahead and watch that for detail. But for this one, I'll tell you, it's the integral from 0 to infinity. And we have t to the x minus 1 and e to the negative t and we are in the t world, like this. Yes, the gamma function is in, the, in terms of uh, integral, like that. The cool thing about this is that this right here, we can write it as a factorial. You, if you have the input being gamma of x plus 1, like this. You can just put the x plus 1 in here, and if you work this out, again, check out my previous video, you actually end up with the factorial of x like this. Very cool. And this right here is how you can extend the concept of the n factorial to any x that you want. And again, there are some bad numbers for x, such as negative 1 factorial. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. You guys can leave a comment down below and you know why. Anyway, so what we can do is we'll look back here. For the a factorial, just look backwards. So I can write this as gamma of and I will just put down a plus 1, right? a factorial is equal to this. And then similarly, on the bottom, I will just write it as gamma of, this is the input, you put it in here, right, backwards, and you get a minus n, and then you add 1 to it. And of course, we still have to multiply x to the a minus n's power like this. And congrats, this right here is the nice formula if you want to differentiate x to the a's power, however many times, and the n can be like any weird number that you want. And again, you just have to be careful with some weird numbers. I cannot say any weird numbers. Sometimes the number cannot be too weird, right? And if you would like, maybe you can put in i. Maybe that works. Well, yeah, leave a comment down below if you think that works or not. But yeah, that's the formula right here. And this right here is pi factorial. This is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity. Again, pi factorial means gamma of pi plus 1. So you will just put pi plus 1 in here. So you have the integral from 0 to infinity, t. And then pi plus 1 minus 1, you just get pi. And then you have e to the negative p, dt, like this. And if you guys would like, you guys can use uh, whatever approximation method you want, such as 4.0, you get 7.188. Anyway, this right here is a continuation for that. And again, hopefully you guys all like this video. And be sure you guys go check out Mr. Dr. Pan's uh, channel if you want to learn more about the fractional derivatives. Again, everything will be in the description for your convenience. And as always, that's it. <laughs>